There is already a significant economic impact being felt in the Quad Cities from the new I-74 bridge. That's from construction of the billion-dollar project itself. Congresswoman Sherry Busso has got to look at the work being done on the bridge this afternoon. She tells Local 4 News there are around 300 people on the job there every day with a payroll of almost a million dollars a week. Local 4's Taylor Bozer joins us live in Moline with what the bridge will do for the economy in the long term. Taylor? Jim, like you said, there are hundreds of jobs created because of this project. Once the new bridge is completed and the old one is torn down, there will be new land available for economic development. Before it can be decided what will go in the new space, the bridge development continues to be worked on. The project faced some delays because of this winter and flooding. Congresswoman Bustos wants people to remember how big of a task this project is. This is a lot of folks coming together. This is, you know, you got work for the private sector. Um, these are union jobs, so they're paying well. These are people who can support their families. It's state government, the Illinois Department of Transportation, it's federal government where uh, the vast majority of the funding is coming from. Um, in the end, this is a $1.2 billion bridge. The goal is for the bridge to be completed with people driving on it by the middle of next year. Live in Moline, Taylor Bozer, Local 4 News. Taylor, thank you.